In October of 2010, the broadcast attachment on Naval Station Rota officially became AFN Rota. And December 5th, 2010 marks its 50th anniversary. European Command, this is AFN. The American Forces Network is a brand name used by the American Forces Radio and Television Service, or AFRTS. In 1961, Alan Shepard wrote a Mercury capsule into history, and AFRTS radio was there via shortwave. Originally established in 1942 as the Armed Forces Radio Service, its mission was, and still is today, to entertain and inform service members stationed or deployed overseas. It's the G.I. Hey, what am I going to get, a kiss or a quart of milk? A television service was introduced in 1959, thus adding the T, in AFRTS. <laughs> oh, uh, hello there. One year later, with stations established on most overseas military bases, AFRTS set up shop on Naval Station Rota, Spain. And on December 5th, 1960, AFRS Rota began its radio broadcast. But the status of forces agreement at the time limited its operations. We could broadcast at a very low emission to our own folks, but they didn't particularly want the Spanish population picking up our broadcast. During those years, AFRTS television broadcasts in Rota were not allowed. But the eventual transition to television service coincided with Spain's transition from authoritarian rule to a new democracy. General Franco was still alive when I arrived, and in November of 1975, he died. Almost immediately, Juan Carlos came back and took the throne. They had restructured the government. Spain had a prime minister in place. The monarchy had resumed its functions under the Constitution. But television was barely coming in when I left at the end of my second tour. Armed Forces Television presents top-rated programs guaranteed to make you laugh. And some to make you cry. But why wouldn't you go on television? But before you see them, AFRTS looks for programs that have achieved stateside popularity and for programs they know you'll enjoy. AFRTS can't show everybody's favorite program every hour, but they sure do try. By the early 1980s, Rota was no longer the only AFRTS affiliate not broadcasting on the small screen. And by the detachment's 25-year anniversary, Navy Broadcasting Service Rota was a full-service media center. Good evening and welcome to Navy Broadcasting Service Detachment Rota's 25th anniversary special. Since December 5th, 1960, NBS Rota has been providing timely news, sports, and entertainment programming to the Rota community. To tell you how far we've come in those 25 years and what's coming up in the near future, here's NBS Rota Station Manager, Navy Chief Journalist, Doug Gorham. You know, we've come a long way in the past 25 years. We started off as just a small radio station with uh, limited operating hours. We've since then expanded to serve the Rota community 24 hours a day on radio. And in the area of television, a couple of years ago we laid over 20 miles of cable and we now service over 800 housing units, uh, the CB camp, the Navy Lodge, and the various clubs on base. Hi. I'm Navy journalist Annabelle St. Germain, and I'm the production director for Navy Broadcasting Service Detachment Rota. And, uh, I did everything. I did uh, news anchor. I ran television. I was television programmer. I did radio shows, uh, spot announcements. It was a very busy time because we were 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> Even the technology we had back then, it created more labor uh, uh, because uh, cart machines had to be loaded and you had to program those and it would take a really long time. The automation system is really neat. All you do is program it and it does its own thing. They did a lot of work back in the days um, with what they had and 
the biggest change in 25 years is the technical advances that we have uh, nowadays. Uh, the technology in computer technology is vastly different. It has uh, all sorts of great buttons that do all sorts of things. And the automation system itself has five tape decks. And to see how um, broadcasting has changed, it's amazing. From its humble roots as a simple radio station, Naval Broadcasting Service Rota continued to adapt to technology and expanded its reach across the Naval Station Rota community. And two and a half decades later, the team of engineers, broadcasters, and support staff at AFN Rota have more capabilities than ever. The technology, in a sense, it's kind of made a little easier on us, um, but we can do mu so much more with what we got. And as they move deeper into the 21st century, AFN Road is becoming even more accessible. Our goal is always to try to get out as much information as possible to keep our community updated. And with things like social media, it's so easy. People will decide, I want to see this event, and I know AFN covered it. They will go immediately to our YouTube page or to our Facebook page. Either way, it's going worldwide, every single product that we do. From Radio Rota's 5,000-watt satellite system, digital editing systems, and file sharing programs, to the new Blue Channel, and now social media, AFN Rota's never farther away than the push of a button or the click of a mouse.